in my thesis, it looks at three forms of humor: satire, parody, and carnival. And my argument is that um, satire and parody constitute this aggressive kind of not aggressive in the sense of violent, but more coercive form of nonviolent action. So it is okay to, in, to you know to attack you know the opponent. So so in the literature of nonviolent resistance, there's a lot of emphasis on you know attacking you know your opponent without using arms. So so that's one aspect to it. But I think what has been missing is this. Um, non-violent action used for reconciliation. So that's where I think carnivals are important. How carnivals can be a space for um, a dialogue, meaning that in a protest um, site, if you have festive activities, um, and these are part of Carnival's features. Um, you would have different um, people from different walks of life, be it you know the authorities, security forces, um, supporters of the government, protesters joining these festivities. So, for example, in the case of um, the protest in Belgrade in 1996-1997, um, there were a lot of Carnivalesque activities used in the protest site. And I remember um, there were a few actions where protesters deliberately um, staged them in order to um, build this image of being friendly and having um, people from the other side to join the activity together. So these activities could be, um, you know, they ranged from concerts, um, party, using music, dancing, beauty contest, that actually they asked protesters, asked you know other uh, protest participants to select police officers who were the best looking. So, so that's their idea, you know, to, to get people that may be in conflict at the time or they may, you know, they they carry out that duty because they have to, but then that put them in a situation that, you know, in opposite to protesters. They may not dislike protesters, but they have to do their jobs, right? Um, so, so that sort of provides space for, you know, convincing the other side to change side. <laughs> so that's the idea.